Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 12 of Civilization 5 as Poland on Deity Difficulty. We are trying to take Beijing here, but China are also at war with Spain and the Shoshone. And I'm a little bit worried that one of these guys is going to manage to take the city from them. Luckily, their melee units are all kind of beaten up, so maybe, just maybe, they will get forced out. It's very, very unlikely. Um... Spain gets to go first. They may be able to take it. We're just going to roll the dice and see where it goes. There's nothing I can do. I've done the numbers. I, I literally do not have enough units that are close enough to do enough damage to attempt to take the city out on this turn. So the only chance we've got of taking this is if um, none of the other civilizations can, can take it. Um, we could declare war on the Shoshone and try and attack their units directly, but it, it's a little bit of a silly idea. So we're just basically going to roll with it. If we don't get the city, we don't. I'd be, I'll be honest, I'd prefer Spain to get it over the Shoshone because obviously the Shoshone are a lot stronger than Spain uh, and a lot stronger than me already. And I'd prefer them not to get any stronger. But unfortunately, I can't really do anything about it. So we're going to allow... Um, Spain and the Shoshone to carry on. Obviously, China does get to counterattack a little bit first, so it is quite possible that they will lose a few units. China are actually shooting at me now, which seems strange. They'd be better off shooting at the melee units that are about to capture their city. But fine, if they want to shoot at me. So Spain will get their go first. They're probably going to throw all of those... Um, they're not conquistadors, are they? They are tercios. They're going to throw all of those tercios at the city and just take a load of damage. Now... The Shoshone have still got a few crossbowmen in range. I don't know if they've got enough to take its health down to zero. Maybe they won't have. Its, it's health doesn't appear to be going down at all, unless they've, they've actually captured it and it's just not showing us the updated... Yeah, they did capture it. Absolute bastards. Not an awful lot I can do about that unless I want to declare war on the Shoshone, which I don't really want to do. So my only other option now is to potentially try and take Shanghai before um, the Shoshone get it. We can't really do an awful lot of damage to Shanghai. But we'll start moving our units down here. If we can grab it, we'll grab it. Because it would be nice to have at least one more city down here. I am going to start moving in with some of my melee units because I want to be able to... Um, I want to be able to make sure that I can actually take it. We'll go up and start moving in with you also. Um, we'll, we will bring everyone up to the front. We should probably have our units up to the front anyway, just in case we get attacked. China's pretty much screwed right now. They're down to one city and they're about to lose it. See, now this is quite interesting. Rome wants to go to war with Pocatello, and I, I could quite happily turn around and say, yeah, sure, we'll do that. But I think the Shoshone are just too strong at the moment. We can already see that they do have quite a few units around, so we do have to be very, very careful uh, what we're doing against the Shoshone. England doesn't like that I'm friendly with the Shoshone. The Shoshone are getting very big and stompy. I think maybe we don't take any more declarations of friendship with the Shoshone after the current one is up. And we just try and sort of um, convince everybody else to go to war with them. Maybe we'll be able to take Beijing from them, which is another reason why I'd like to have Shanghai if I can. Have that done and ready. Warsaw has grown. You've taken some unnecessary damage. Is everybody still at war? China is at war with us. Right, so it looks like they've actually peaced out with Spain and they've peaced out with the Shoshone. So if, we, um, if we're fighting China now, we're fighting them on our own. So let's just um, move everybody out. We will go ahead and kill or capture your um, missionary because they're an absolute pain in the hoop. We'll go over there and potentially try and capture one of your workers. Um, in fact, we can do that by grabbing them with you. Um, actually, we learned we used to belong to Babylon, but we're going to take it because we could do with the extra worker. We probably can't peace out yet. No. So we'll just start doing a little bit of damage to the city. We're not going to be able to do enough damage to take it, but we just want to peace out with them now. And potentially I can take um, Shanghai. I guess we could go give it a go. Uh, we were going to Temawak before. It's the highest gold. We'll carry on with that. It seems like it is a relatively safe trade route. Do 
China has denounced the Shoshone. Hardly a surprise. And you're once again attacking the crossbowman, which again is hardly a surprise. Could have really done with a, a catapult or a trebuchet or something like that to be able to do some damage to this. Uh, could we actually buy one? No, we've got a great writer. Um... Six hundred and twenty gold. Let's buy a trebuchet. Warsaw has finished Circus Maximus. You are going to work on the porcelain tower. Lots of things we can do here. You get a promotion. We're going to give you cover, and we'll get everybody firing at this if we can. We're just going to delete the missionary because it's the wrong type of missionary so we'll just we won't get any money for it anyway because it's the uh it's it's not our missionary um so we've got a free worker which we can use also start to move in with some melee units where we can don't necessarily want to move in with the knight because he's really weak but we'll move him around this side we get a free policy let's go and get plus two science from every specialist so we're really increasing the amount of science that we get now. Um, choose host. Well, it's going to be Pedro either way. So we might as well vote for Pedro and um, get some relationship bonus with him. Uh, automatic faith purchase. We've got ourselves our missionary. You are going to move further forward. You are going to... We can't even create a great work. Because we don't actually even have a... Well, we're not going to win a culture victory anyway. So maybe what we do is we just um, write political treatises. It's not going to give us an awful lot. But I don't actually have anywhere to create a great work right now. So let's go ahead and just write the political treatise. It does knock a few turns off the social policy. We're just going to have so many social policies here playing as Poland. And maybe that's what we need to, um, to push in order to try and win. So we'll get everyone else just to hunker down. Hopefully we can um, not get killed by everything that China's going to throw at us. Somebody's adopted an ideology already. That's Brazil. They've adopted order. We'll probably end up having to go order ourselves. Salt for ivory. I think we had that going previously, so let's keep up with that. Shanghai is actually able to do quite a decent amount of damage um, to me here. You want to go to war with Babylon, be my guest. So I think we try and wipe China out, take Shanghai for ourselves, and then we try and get everybody else to go to war with the Shoshone. And then maybe we can grab Beijing out from underneath them when that happens. So we're going to shoot with all of these units that aren't damaged, which is you and which is... Can you genuinely not see from there? Guess we need to put you up on that hill, don't we? Um, we also need to then move in with this trebuchet. You are getting pretty beat up. You do have cover. I think we'll just fortify with you for now. You've finished a farm. You're going to work on that farm. You are going to... I have no idea what you're going to do, if I'm perfectly honest. We've, we've upgraded most of the useful tiles. Um, I guess these technically are... We're well, not showing us floodplains. Don't really want to go putting trading posts everywhere. Trading posts aren't all that useful. We could go ahead and get a mine up here, I suppose. It is a, it is a hill. Let's go and do that one. You've finished work on that. Of course you have. Um, let's go ahead and get a farm over here. It's better than a trading post, in my opinion. Another unit needing orders. You guys just stay there. Missionary, let's go ahead and try and um, push our own religion forward if we can. It'll be a little bit easier once we actually get rid of China. So much uh, religious pressure here from um, from China. It's going to be very, very difficult to try and push their religion out. But we might be able to do it, like I said, once China get wiped out. 
Um, you guys just sort of sit there, I suppose. I think you should be okay. We could probably actually upgrade you now to... Oh, no, we don't have that yet. No, oh, Brazil love me. That's not unexpected. Turn away from getting a great artist. Right, you want peace. I'm going to refuse that for now. I know that you're willing for peace. So, in an emergency, I can peace out. We've definitely got to pull back with this guy because he's getting wrecked. So, we are, we are going to try and take um, this from China if we can. Wow. We've got a very small army. China's got nothing right now. We've got a great artist. You're going to pull back because you need to recover. You need to get up here. You are going to attack Shanghai. You are going to attack Shanghai. I'd like you to get one more turn of recovery if possible. We get to choose a research. What do we want to go for? Scientific theory, I suppose. Get some extra stuff from that academy. It also puts us in a new era, which would then give us a new social policy. Also, We have to take economics along the way, but that's fine. Uh, we also then probably want to go back after that and grab chemistry. Um, research agreement as completed with Pocatello. Well, we won't be going to war with him directly ourselves. So I think what we do here... I'm 24 gold short, apparently. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll wait a turn or two. We'll try and get another agreement with him. and Because um, we, we'll try and get everyone else to go to war with him if possible. I'm almost certainly heading for a science win here. Hopefully we can get the uh, porcelain tower done. Uh, missionary will use you to spread religion again. Still wasn't enough to um, flip it back in our direction. Now then, as far as the uh, auto purchases go, can we get any more pagodas? No, we cannot. So I think we just go for um, 450 for a missionary. Great profit is... I don't know how much the great profit is. We'll try and go for that one. Uh, Wing Tassar, can we upgrade you? It's not showing that we can. Um, military science, you upgrade into a cavalry. What does the Wing Tassar upgrade, uh, upgrade from then? You upgrade from... Oh, you're an Lancer upgrade. Okay, that's fine. So we're not too worried about that guy then. So we'll have to stop... Um, Producing some winged hussars. I sent you there to build a mine. So that's what you're going to do. Uh, also, are you now working one of these tiles? No, you're not. You're actually working that, which is terrible. Go and work the one that gives you four food. On to the next turn. We don't need to give you open borders. Happiness isn't too bad right now. We probably will want to um, annex Hangzhou at some point. England has denounced Spain. Well, at least you're firing at my bowman and your crossbow, and you're not firing at the trebuchet. That's not a hill, is it? No. So, you should be able to set up and fire. You're not going to do a lot of damage, but you are going to do some. You're going to do some. You're almost at full health, so you can move in. You can do some. Could attack with these guys, but it's really not worth it, so we won't bother. You guys, I think you can have another attack. Again, you're not going to do a lot of damage, but we can always move you back and um, heal up. At least we'll be able to grab ourselves some copper out of this one, assuming that we can take Shanghai. I've got to get at least one city, or one decent city out of China. I know we got Hangzhou, but we need a decent city. But yeah, the Shoshone are going to be the, pro the problem. I know that Brazil usually tend to be runaway leaders in terms of uh, tourism. But we can probably defend against that. And we can probably beat them with a science victory. Yeah, I wanted to do this anyway. Especially if we do manage to get the porcelain tower. I'm really hoping that we do. Where is our spy? We did successfully steal from somebody last time. We were stealing from Babylon. We might manage to do that again. Uh, unit promotion, which is this guy, we are going to give you um, cover two, because that'll make it even harder for the city to do any damage to you. We are going to have another shot with the trebuchet. 
We're going to keep shooting with all of our ranged units. You should have enough hit points to survive one more attack. And the more we attack, the more XP that we get. We also need this guy to heal up. He'll probably heal up a little bit quicker if I put him in my own territory, to be honest. So let's go and heal him up there. So let's go on to the next turn. Don't worry, I didn't want to scroll the map anyway. Again, they've still got no units. They could produce one right at the last minute and do some damage, but they haven't done. So we'll withdraw this guy to heal on this turn. And then we'll keep shooting with... Well, we've only really got the trebuchet and two uh, crossbows, but we'll do what we can. Found another city-state. Or more correctly, they've found us. Um, let's get you to friendly territory so you can heal up. We'll have a, another shot with the trebuchet. We are doing some damage. Not a huge amount, but we're getting there. He's now probably going to attack one of the other crossbowmen or the trebuchet. This guy's getting healed back up, though. Yeah, he's going for these guys. I don't mind that too much. These guys have actually got cover too now, so they're they're going to be able to take quite a pelting. Um, obviously, of course, I still don't want to lose them, but while he's attacking them, he's not attacking the trebuchet, and the trebuchet's doing a lot more damage, so I'm okay with that. We would get a major warmonger penalty, but as they've been denounced by pretty much everybody, we should be okay. We have economics. That is fine. So let's go ahead and carry on bombarding. Its health is dropping. Not as much as I'd like it to be, but it is dropping. You're going to heal up. We have a cargo ship. It was previously going to... That's not a lot of gold. I think we'll actually go to Brazil now. More gold for us. Try and get as much gold as we can, because we really want it to be able to um, get research agreements. I do want to get the Oxford University as soon as possible as well, just to get a free tech. We're also about to get scientific theory, so we'll get public schools and more, more science from our one academy. It says plus two science but it'll be at least plus three because we've got our national college in the capital so it's an extra 50 percent on top of that we've got a golden age as well which is really good uh got a promotion on our trebuchet um you are on a hill so let us go for um i think it's only against units hills forests or jungles let's go for barrage anyway because you are our target um so we'll do that you can you can still take another hit, so we'll allow you to carry on taking a hit. I bet we're nowhere near. Yeah, we'd only just tickle the city if we threw our musketman at it, so we're not going to bother doing that. We'll be able to bring this guy back in in a turn or two. Okay, this guy's been hit pretty hard now. He now needs to come out and recover. So we'll go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, the Shoshone's just put his units in the way. But that's fine. We will move you over here, just so you can heal up. And I know we've got a production to choose, but let's see how much damage we can do, first of all. You would tickle. You would tickle. Let's put you back into position. You can fire at it again on the next turn. Uh, Vods has finished the amphitheater. Let's go ahead and get ourselves... Do we really want the harbour? Are we trading from here? Could do with the harbour in um, our capital, to be honest. An opera house wouldn't be a bad idea. There's a lot of things that wouldn't be a bad idea, to be honest. Got a lot of production down here in VODs, and I do want to make a, uh, some ships. I think getting the ironworks down here is actually the best idea. Get some decent production. Let's go on to the next turn. We do have time for a turn or two more before we end the video, so hopefully we'll be enough to take Shanghai. 
And he is actually going for the crossbowman, which is great, because it means I can um, attack it with the trebuchet again. I think this might be the end for you, China. I think you could have you could have played that one a little bit better. Great engineer there from uh, Shoshone, Benjamin Franklin, actually. Okay, so do our damage there. Not as much as we want, but damage nonetheless. We'll shoot with you as well because you're there. That surely should be enough. It's got to be enough. Worst case scenario, we'll take it with the pikeman, but that should be enough to take it. Yep, brilliant. That's it. China is done for. Uh, we are going to create a puppet. We are going to steal a technology. Um, we're actually working on chemistry. It's the only thing we can steal. Babylon's getting a bit below, so we'll steal chemistry. Choose our production. Krakow has finished its zoo. You are going to work on an armory, I think. You're also not working any of your university slots. But you're not growing very fast either. Let's take you out of there and put you in a food kind of slot. You don't have any great food slots, do you? Could do with getting a farm or two, I suppose. Let's put you there for now. Let's, um take you oh no i don't want to sell it i just want to take the writers out of it and put them in the university there we go try and get some great scientists a little bit more quickly uh we'll go on to the next turn and we're going to want to pull our units back heal them up but that's it now china's out of the game uh, obviously we're now being denounced by england because we're considered to be a warmonger that's fine, though. England aren't our biggest threat in this game. Spain still seem to like us. The Shoshone still seem to like us. So, we need to get a few units garrisoned. So, let's go ahead and get you in a city. Let's get you back to our own territory. A unit has been promoted. Let's give everybody cover too. Seems sensible. Uh, Musketmen, let's give you cover as well. Um, actually, you can go and sit in the city, I think. Best place for you. Can't steal from Babylon anymore. Hardly a surprise. So, we need to go ahead and move that, um, that spy. Probably on to... Brazil, maybe? Can't remember how long ago it was we said we wouldn't spy. We might end up getting denounced if we're not careful. But we will be um, attacking Brazil at some point, so it's definitely worth doing. Musketman is going to heal up. Let's get some of these guys just back to cities because it'll save us on uh, maintenance. So let's move you down there. Can move you back to there as soon as you can get there. You're just going to steady up. And that's it. That's pretty much all we can do on this turn. So, we have managed to completely wipe out China. We've taken another city. We're actually doing quite well on happiness at the moment. What did we get in that city? I never even looked. Um, oh, Stonehenge. We actually got ourselves free Stonehenge. Very nice. Uh, we got ourselves a pagoda. And a shrine. There's a granary. There's a caravan through. We've got ourselves a university. Um, and a bank, a market, and a workshop. No, not bad. I actually am um, quite happy with that. Our science output seems pretty decent. We definitely need to sort out these um, trade routes. If we go and have a look at the sciences... Uh, Pocatello has discovered three technologies that we do not know. So I think, he's a, I think we're only three techs behind the tech leader. Yeah, we're only two techs behind um, Brazil. So we're definitely catching up on tech. And a science victory may well be possible. We might just need to find a way to slow the Shoshone and Brazil down. Because they are really blobbing out. But that is something that we will do next time. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization V on Deity. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.